Hello guys, I am Damian from forexbot.com and welcome back to our video examples on the live forex trading account. We remind that the trade you will see here is with and only educational purpose. So now I'm looking at the 15 minute chart of the most traded forex pair, which is the euro dollar of course. And I noticed that after price increase, like on the 15 minute chart, uh, the price has entered something like a consolidation. And in the meantime, we see the evolution of an interesting pattern because, as you see, we have a resistance zone somewhere at 1.0736, for example. Here it is. However, the last price top and the last price bottom show a pattern called descending tops and descending bottoms. So maybe the price is bouncing off this resistance at 1.0736 and it is attempting to create a bearish run or at least an impulse which I will now attempt to trade. Let's zoom in. This is how it looks. So now I'm going to short the euro dollar for half lot like this. And I'm going to place a stop loss order above the resistance level at 1.0736. Here it is. My trade is now protected and I will set as a target the bottom that is located at 1.0707. This will be my minimum target. There is like a chance that the that uh, the price that the price goes even lower here it is but as I said this will be a minimum target because if the price reaches this level it can find something like support and then bounce back at the 1.0736 resistance so I believe that this is like a decent target to seek in this trade. I'm now marking my stop loss order with the second red line. I'm going to change the color of the resistance level, by the way. Um, let's do it like yellow. The stop is above the yellow line. One pip above the resistance. Which is uh, relatively high, by the way, but uh, in my opinion, placing the stop at 1.0730, like above the last stop, is on the other hand too tight. So it's always better, in my opinion, to put the stop loss a little bit too loose rather than too tight. Because, as I've said many, many times, the stop loss order is not necessarily to be hit. If you see that the price is exiting the channel, for example, simply close the trade. That's what it is. Or if uh, the price action is showing some kind of a very strong bullish momentum. No point holding the trade. Now let's mark the other levels on the chart. 1.0722 is my entry point. Which I'm going to mark with white. And the target goes... At 1.0707. All right, the trade is all set, levels are marked. So, if the price hits the take profit order while the video is up, we'll have the levels uh, doing the summary for the trade. Let's see the 30 minute chart, how things look over there. Pretty much the same thing. On the hourly chart, we have like like a correction or 
consolidation, which suddenly gets wider, meaning that volatility is high. And on the five minute chart, we see we have like a better picture at the price actions. So the logical outcome here will be if the price like tests the upper level of the descending tops and bottoms chart pattern, which is like a bearish channel. However, the channels usually last longer while the descending tops and bottoms can be interrupted like very quickly. The descending tops and bottoms is the beginning of the channel actually. So since we had a like tops at the same level over here, suddenly we get a lower top. And here suddenly we get a lower bottom, another lower bottom. So this is an indication that the price might be decreasing. So this was the basic, the main reason for my trade. So now I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back to you with the results from the deal. Okay, guys, I'm back about a couple hours later to tell you that the euro dollar created another test of the orange channel that represents the descending tops and bottoms and created a sharp bounce and as a result of this the price interacted with my take profit level at 1.0707 and closed my trade on profit which is the best outcome in this situation of course notice that the price did not get out of the channel at all which means that the descending tops and descending bottoms pattern uh, is fully authentic and it is currently emerging into a bearish channel uh, which might even create further opportunities on the chart also I can having in mind I mean the already created bottom under my target my take profit level I can readjust the lower level of the pattern and now it looks like this might also be a falling wedge pattern however I honestly don't like this its structure as a falling wedge because uh, this comes after a consolidation and it does not look to me like a like an authentic falling wedge pattern. This is why I approached it, approached the pattern as a descending tops and descending bottoms. The thing is to use the switch in the direction of the tops and the bottoms to foretell price moves like this one over here I'm pointing for you and to create trades in the direction of the inclination. In our case, the bottoms was, were descending, the bottoms, here they are, descending, and the tops were descending, uh, which appeared after a bullish trend and a consolidation. And this made me think that the price is probably starting another bearish move. It is a clear signal that the price is attempting to turn the sideways price move into a bearish one. And this is why I traded on the assumption that I traded short on the assumption that another bearish impulse is uh, probably emerging on the chart. So now let's do some math as I do every time and to calculate the outcome from this trade. I shorted the euro dollar at 1.0722 and I stayed until the price reached 1.0707 which is like 15 pips profit from this trade and 15 pips on the euro dollar exchange rate equals to 0 0.0015 and when I divide this number by the entry point at 1.0722 I get a result of 0 0.0039899 and by multiplying this number by 100, I get my percentage profit from this trade, which is uh, approximately 0.14% profit and 15 pips.
that was a that is a decent amount i mean a decent profit to make having in mind the time spent because uh well, uh, 0.15 percent is a nice amount but it took like two hours which is average in my opinion for this trade also notice the bounce over here from the resistance level i put at 1.0736 this resistance was one two three times tested and after the third time i saw the occurrence of the descending tops and bottoms pattern which is why i traded short getting this impulse over here for 0.14 percent profit so thank you very much for watching this was damian from forexbolt.com make sure you click the subscribe button at the lower right corner of the video looking forward to see you at the next forex trading session and until then i wish you happy and safe forex trading